I want to talk a little bit about Shark Tank Australia. Unfortunately, it only made four seasons, but I recently found it on YouTube and I've been watching pretty much everything I can find. So I want to make a couple points and uh, maybe get you on board with Shark Tank Australia. Generally, what I like about Shark Tank Australia more than the American version is they're a little bit nicer. Uh, that's, that's true. They will often prompt people to leave the room to discuss deals. They allow every single shark to jump in and say if they're in or out before the entrepreneur has to decide. And that's something that just drives me nuts about the American Shark Tank. And I actually stopped watching several years ago, a show that I had originally really loved, going all the way back to the English Dragon's Den. This idea of entrepreneurs pitching to businessmen has been, you know, part of my TV watching experience for many years. So I was sad when I had to stop watching Shark Tank America, but they're constantly cutting people off, demanding deals, uh, demanding they respond to them or that they say exactly the right thing. I I'm not a big fan of that. I feel like Shark Tank Australia takes a more collaborative approach. They want the entrepreneur to come out with their best pitch. They'll ask follow-up questions. They'll really try to get to the details of, of the business. They'll try to really understand the sales. And a lot of times they invest in the people. So I'm going to just play a couple clips and I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. Okay, so these people are pitching a scoop and that's all it is. It's literally a scoop that's narrow and is easier to scoop into bottles. And what you'll see here is how you found a problem because you had powder all over your table. How they invest in people. <laughs> <laughs> it's a scoop. It is. It is. Uh, it's, really? it is fabulous. Um, would have been much more fun if you'd come in and pitched uh, Men, on Men on Fire. <laughs> Men on Fire is uh, a, a striptease act that he does. They just they just have a lot of fun on this show. A family show, really, Glenn. It's a plastic scoop. I can't add a lot of value. I'm out. Thank you. Four out, one left. It's not a big investment. Um, I, I, I'm not a huge gym goer, actually. He's the like mean one, stuff. right? Um, <laughs> it's not a religion, you know. Not a huge. <laughs> <laughs> they're all laughing. They're having fun. You know? uh, in the bank, yeah, uh, eighty thousand dollars. Eighty. Yeah. So you don't need the money, right? I would appreciate. That's twenty-five thousand dollars a lot more because I've got a smaller amount to spend. I'm They're spend looking for a deal. I asked you for the launcher product. Million dollars. I couldn't guarantee I could make you four million, but if you gave me twenty-five grand, I'm pretty confident I could make you a hundred thousand. I'm not giving you anything. I'm going to buy your equity, right? And, and if, if I do that, I'm going to buy a stake in your company. Oh, look at look at him bite their head off. This is the mean one. I mean, and and the full intention of making a lot of money out of you, to be quite honest. 25 grand is like a, it's like a coin toss, isn't it, really? Not to sound flippant about money, but it's a small bet. To take a lot of money. times they invest in, in, people. in so, the people. Um, yeah, look, it's just, it just feels like a shame not to take a bet. Well, have a, have a bet. Have a bet? So, um, they all want them to do it. Uh, OK, Steve, what are you doing, Steve? Steve, what about you and I taking? Ah, uh, I don't know how to add value to a scoop. It's Cut a off, scoop. Andrew. I really wish you all the best. I'm out. Oh. Uh, and a lot of the time they do deals together. That's uh, one of the things that make it fun is they're very collaborative. There's only a couple of them that don't no worries. Thanks, get along. Thank Thanks for coming Thanks, to guys. the tag. Thanks, guys. Well, you attempted. I thought you were going to come back in. I thought you were going to come back in. He took, he cut, he cut me off. I was thinking of going halves with you. So I was going to do 20 points each. I make some phone calls, you make some phone calls, that's it. Yeah. Let's go and do that. Should we get him back in? Sam, Hannah, come back in. Bringing him back in. <laughs> I know that's not exclusive to a Shark Tank Australia. <laughs> we think we'd but... like to take an option on your future. But that's exactly it. Yeah. They like these people. So Andrew and I will go hard. They're going to throw some money at it, make it work. So we're going to bring twice the network into this. Yep. 20% each. 25,000 bucks for 40%.
Yeah. Deal. Deal. Yeah. And there we go. And then they're all happy. They all celebrate. Hugs all around. And that's the way most deals end. Next into the tank is Laurie, who's staking her business future on catching the sharks in a friendly mood. I do have a potty mouth. Hopefully that will make me a pot of gold. And hopefully they'll like my... This one's inappropriate gifts. It's all about wacky, kitschy things that are, you know, pushing the boundary of common decency. Are the sharks too prudish? For a friend or family member with a cheeky and inappropriate sense of humor. <laughs> and we bring you a one-stop shop, a curated online store specializing in inappropriate gifts. Since then, we have sold over 23,600 products to over 9,600 customers across 36 different countries. The fun business, she's got sales. Big, hairy, audacious goal. So this, this should be, to be the global home a slam dunk for this show. Gifts. <laughs> so sharks, who wants to be inappropriate with me? <laughs> oh. oh my God. <laughs> is that what I think it is. It's whiskey. Yeah, there you go. Whiskey in a bank. Lori, that's fantastic. <laughs> I'll give you all a goodie bag as well. Oh, thank you. Bag. Yeah. Okay. So, what do we got? I hope you have a sense of humor, sharks. Okay, one complaint. Uh, they need to upload their videos in 4K. It's <laughs> the quality. It's it's terrible for this. Or maybe it's my internet. I don't know. Well done, Laura. Steve and Naomi have a rivalry. An investment of They've only done like a couple deals together. Okay, we're going to talk about the valuation now. This is the key to the point of this show. A great partner called Budget Ben. I love him to pieces. Budget Ben. Honey, you can do whatever you want. So that's her husband. Okay, skipping ahead. Laurie's online business, the inappropriate gift card. Here's the re narrator recap. Feeding frenzy in the tank with all five sharks wanting in. Okay, what are you gonna do? All five sharks have made an offer. Can I talk to my husband? Oh, he's here. You he? wanna bring him out just to see? And they're all good offers. Your husband, Budget sure. Ben. Budget Ben. <laughs> Come on, Budget Ben, bring him out. Nobody's demanding Thank you. that she makes a decision right away. They actually say, go talk to your husband. Go talk to Budget Ben and, and figure it out. <laughs> I've got to choose which one. All right, okay. Give so, I've got Naomi. Here's a recap. 100,000 for 15%. And then um, she will bring an extra 100,000. Andrew, 15% for 100 grand. Okay, that's good. That's good. Um, Glenn is 12.5%. And so is Steve. And Janine is 18%. So. All for 100 grand. Is that 18? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. I love all of them. Yeah. Um, so they're discussing it, but compare this to American Shark Tank, they would be demanding an answer, they would want their offer responded to. They all five made an offer. They suggest you go out and talk to them. And they get to decide together such an important thing for their business. We're extremely proud. She's, She's done an amazing job here today. We Laurie, I've decided to make my deal easier. Oh. And just offer two hundred and fifty thousand dollars for twenty five percent in one up because you're going to need the money. So the deals can still change when they leave the room. Enjoy the journey as much as the results. But enjoy the journey more with me. <laughs> this is not, not any kind of punishment. They're not sniping at each other. All five sharks have an offer. I would love to work with you. Oh! And there we go. Uh, some things, some things come and go. Well done. So the other sharks are disappointed, but they're still excited about the entrepreneur's success, and they're excited about the future. And that's, that's what's so great about this show. First into the tank tonight is Edwina, who wants to make one of life's most amazing moments a whole lot better. Okay, it's not all fun and games. Here's one of the fiercest fights they've had on uh, this show. So you can kind of get an idea of the, the balance of the show. 
Thank you, Sharks, so much for having me. My name's Edwina Sharrick. I come from regional Tamworth, an awesome town in New South Wales, and I am the founder of Birthbeat. So basically, it's a portal that will train parents to be with prenatal classes and even going into young childhood, following them with classes. 6,000 births a year. Do you notice I've not said anything yet? He does a lot of talking, doesn't he? I'm going to say something one day. Just like he thinks that none of it, other of us can have this conversation. No, exactly. See, this is where they're fighting. <laughs> Stephen and Naomi. Naomi, have you got something to say? Yes, hello, it's so, so just They're battling. Quickly, well, I was in the middle of a question at the same time. No, you choked. You can have it next, OK? No, no, so, here we so go. With Edwina, respect to HCF, with, it's with, my with, with respect to HCF Catalyst, what did that, what did they so invest that? option? I can't hear either of you, sorry. I'm going to keep You've talking until I get my question because I'm getting tired and he's making my questions over. And I'm going to go blah, 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 and I'm going to interrupt the entire thing. This is as mean as we get. Meanwhile, entrepreneur yeah, immediately right. talks back. Observation. Yeah. And they don't scold her. You know, um, I know Naomi's desperate to talk to you. Naomi, sorry. I'm patient. You, no, sometimes you're not. you, you often demonstrate you're not patient, so it's all right. <laughs> I'm patient. I really, really do wish you all the best. They keep going out, so but they really four like sharks her. Sharks are out. Janine's left. You um, you've been doing your business long, uh, but you haven't been doing this business long. You are authentic, though. You are the real deal. You have the credibility to come out and be an authority in this space. The, even the mean shark wants wants her to get a deal. Is she gonna make an offer or are we just teasing? Have you seen the Muppets? Yeah, there's two old guys that sit at the thing and just winge and carry on. <laughs> it's these two. Seriously, I miss these. picking. <laughs> come on, come on. They want her to get I'll a deal. Thank you, Janine. There you ah, go. This is good. I think because you're just getting going. Uh, 200,000 for 20% is too much at this point. I will give you $100,000 for 20% and a $100,000 loan. Based on her sales, that is actually, seems like a great offer. What are you gonna do? I would expect that she takes it. I would absolutely love to take it. Right. Oh. There you go. So even the sharks that are out, even though this is bickering and fighting, Thank you so much, Naomi. Here they Thank are. You. Happy they got a deal. There we go. I hope that I have shared with you something that you can enjoy and find that's available for free on YouTube. And if you've been a fan of Shark Tank, America, Dragon's Den, in England, if you watch any of these shows, I say give it a chance. It's, it's worth your time. And maybe share it with other people.